So this video is going to be to help you guys understand a little bit more about how the Tower of Ten works. Now I know you probably have cards or pictures. Uh, this will explain basically how we've taught with it and what it teaches. Now in kindergarten when we use the, the Tower of Ten, basically what we're teaching is the combinations of ten. And it helps kids go from counting on their fingers or individual counting to whole number counting. Basically getting the, and, and the combinations of 10 are really important because that's kind of how we think with uh, our base 10 system. You know, we complete uh, a 10 and then we'll move on. So if, you know, if we get a number to add like an eight and a seven, you know, we split the seven up and two and five, complete the, complete the 10 with the eight and two, and then we just add five and we get to 15. And we just, that's usually how we work. That's how our system works most efficiently. And, uh, so the Tower of Ten does a really great job of helping kids learn uh, how to work within that system. Uh, one of the important things to mention when we're teaching with some blocks is that it's always a game. We're never like bringing kids to the table and saying, hey, this is what we're going to learn today, or everybody raise your hand if you want to do this. It's, it's always hands-on, and we just kind of steer the fun. And that's kind of, that's, that's how I've used it in kindergarten. I brought the kids together and said, Wow, you guys, you guys like the blocks? Great. And let them play a little bit, and then say, "Hey, what do you, did you guys want to build one of these, uh, you know, one of these structures?" And we'll have pictures that will inspire them and get them excited. And so, with the Tower of Ten, we'll just say, "Hey, so you guys want to build something really tall? Do you want to build a tower as tall as tall as you? Okay, let's go for it." Uh, so buildings have, and then we'll say, we'll let them know. Okay, so buildings have walls, and they're going to have. Uh, floors so we can keep stacking them higher and higher so how tall do we want each floor and they'll go oh they'll think about that for a second they say how about how about 10 is 10 okay now 10 is a little bit higher than 8 it's a lot higher than 3 so what do you guys think about that and they'll go okay great and so then you say well, okay everybody why don't why doesn't everybody just start getting together combinations of 10 and we'll start stacking it together and then then kids start getting into that that mode of uh, accomplishing and being creative and they'll start looking to problem solve and they get really excited about that especially kids that are like in kindergarten age and they'll start uh, rummaging through the blocks finding the combinations that they know five and five common and then they'll stick with them and go wait you know uh, and they may they may take the fives and they may stack them up and then they go what else you know equals ten and they may start they may start experimenting they may go oh that looks like that would work no I think maybe a two and then they'll figure it out and they'll add to you know the group uh, building session which is really fun so this is basically the the structure of the tower tent and it can really be any way you want uh, it's just a building with um, vertical combinations of of ten so I mean it could really be any, any way you want but this is how how I built it with a set a classroom set and a classroom set is about 90 blocks in it so with the classroom set uh, we just build, you know, four on the one side, two on the inner sides, and then just uh, something in the center. And then I usually end up putting the fives uh, here as a floor because they, they bridge pretty nicely. And if you wanted to, you didn't have to have a, a medium, and you could bring them closer together and maybe just use eights. Uh, but since fives are a pretty, pretty obvious combination for most kids to understand, I figure we could just take the fives and use them as floors and then the rest of the combinations they can kind of figure out, the more complex ones. So then we have a floor and we just go about um, continuing to, uh, to stack more combinations. Six and four, of course that looks right to me. There we go. And so on. And then you would just stack up, the con just have the kids like jump in and, and have them take turns, maybe one after the other and they'll stack. Uh, the combinations of 10 up until you get to about three levels high nothing too crazy and sometimes it works best on the floor that way the blocks aren't like crashing down uh, onto things uh, but, but either way it works as long as kids can get in there and they can all participate and have fun it's a really great way to learn like I said uh, combinations of 10 and counting in whole numbers so I hope that uh, this makes sense and it can help you implement that uh, that lesson if you choose to. Thanks.